everyone and welcome to another day here in California and today we are going to the D23 Expo. I have my D23 Expo ticket here. I'm so excited to be going this morning, taking a look at everything, showing you guys what is going on there. I've never been to D23 before. Normally I'm back home following people on social media who are there, seeing what's going on and this time I actually get to be there myself which I can't believe. I'm so so happy and excited to be here and then later this afternoon we're going to be going back to the park. We're going to be going over to California Adventure this evening to see World of Colour. Very, very exciting day. Right now, I think everyone's gathering downstairs. We're going to have a quick Starbucks before we head off to the expo. The weather's looking a bit dodgy today. I do have my umbrella. It was very, very hot yesterday. I did burn a little bit, but I think I got away with it. It's not too bad. I've got my sunscreen on though, just in case, because you can still burn when it's overcast. And before we run out the door, I'll just quickly show you my outfit of the day. So today's outfit, I have my purple potion ears that I got at Disneyland Paris a few years ago. This play suit is is one that my mum made. I absolutely love it. So it's purple on the bottom. It's got a little tie around the middle. I absolutely love this blue fabric. I've got my rose gold sunglasses from Dorothy Perkins again. And I have my Adidas trainers on again. And you can see down there, I've got my Bing Bong lounge fly bag. I absolutely love this bag. It's from Very Nico. I will link it in the description. This was gifted to me. So we're just in Starbucks and I have the classic cheese Danish. I get this at Disney World all the time. It's really nice and just a latte, so we're going to have this and um, then we're going to be heading over to D23. Hey mate, you're good. So we've had our coffee and we are now just about to head into the expo. We're staying at the Hilton, which is literally right behind me, so it's absolutely right next to the expo, so it's a great place to stay. And loads of people are here, let me just show you this crowd. So it's a very, very popular event, we are all ready to go. We've got our lanyards on, Andrew is ready, he's ready. We got a little shop it. We're going to be buying some merch, so you know, need that definitely. Oh yes, we're going to be buying some merch. Yes, yes. I take it you didn't get in your virtual line this morning. He did. I did. You did. I did. <laughs> yeah, I'm in the line now. I've got a slot. Oh okay. I've got an hour to go on. Oh, I'm a bit excited now that yeah. you might actually get it. Going for a limited edition doll, guys. Yes, and um, we're moving. We are headed in. I'm so excited for this. I can't yeah. wait to get in. Weird. Show you guys around. Yeah, definitely yeah, look at people's outfits. That's one thing I'm going to do today is point out the amazing outfits people have. People come in like costumes and stuff so as you know I do love an outfit so we'll definitely be looking out for that okay here we go you guys let's get in here this is the main show floor exhibit hall B and we are straight in to Hulk smashed <laughs> and a photo op I think there's probably a lot of photo ops here so hopefully I will get some really good ones it's one of those situations where we've already lost the group <laughs> <laughs> Every, everyone. Everyone's just walked in separately. We've lost everyone. We don't know what's going on, but it's all good. It's all good. And we've got another little photo op over here with Anna and Elsa. So we'll probably come back to that later. I would imagine photo ops and stuff are going to be kind of busy first thing. They've got a Disney Cruise Line stand over here, which I definitely want to check out. Ever since I did the UK staycation cruise, I really, really want to do a Disney cruise. So I'll probably go and speak to those guys and see what's going on there. And we are meeting Cruise Line Minnie. Look at her in her little trousers and red shoes. Adorable. And that Encanto photo spot there is very beautiful. The lighting, it doesn't really do it justice on the camera. So I think later we'll definitely try and do some of these. Okay, so we're heading into this little, I don't even, I can't even call this a booth. It is that big, but I guess that's what it is technically. And along here we have all the different castles. So you can see the difference between the Disneyland one and Disney World and Tokyo as you can see here is basically the same I think it is actually the same obviously this one currently has the 50th uh, decorations on it but I think ultimately they are very very similar if not completely the same and here we've got Disneyland Paris which I think is one of the most beautiful of the Disney castles personally Ollie is agreeing with me yep it is it does look amazing and finally Shanghai I feel like the Shanghai castle is very wide don't you think it's huge isn't yeah it? that looks it's massive wide. and they were speaking about this in the Imagineering panel that we went to yesterday Shanghai Disney Resort and they're having a Zootopia or Zootropolis themed area now I know Zootopia and Zootropolis it's the same thing but it's called a different thing in different countries 
I believe. But they're having a whole themed land, which looks absolutely amazing. They also have a Disneyland Paris section, and you can see from that picture there, they are also getting a Frozen themed land, which will be amazing. And this is a new coaster that they're going to be getting in the new Frozen themed land, which is a kind of sleigh roller coaster. That looks really, really cool. I'm imagining that to be very similar to Seven Dwarfs Mine Train, that type of thing. And we're coming into home turf for me because there is Walt Disney World at the end. You can see Spaceship Earth there, my absolute favourite, as you know, Epcot. And they have this beautiful picture of Walt here up on the screen as well. And this is actually explaining about the new Moana themed attraction that they have coming to Epcot. So it's called Journey of Water, inspired by Moana. That's actually being built at the moment. I have seen a little bit of the construction when I've been on the monorail. So very, very excited for that. They have this beautiful statue of Walt sat in front of Spaceship Earth. I love that. And in this next area, I was telling you guys yesterday how blown away I was by the Stuntronic. They actually have the Stuntronic here for us to see. Here's a video of what we watched yesterday showing how they developed it. it really is incredible. <laughs> And here it is, that is so impressive. Someone has the most amazing Rapunzel costume there. This is pretty awesome, it shows the inside of the Wish. So it shows all the different things that they have going on. We have the atrium over here, they're just kind of showing some of the rooms, the restaurants and stuff. So that gives a really good idea of what they have on board. And they have a little booth here which is to do with Disney animation and there is the man himself. Whatever we accomplish belongs to our entire group. A tribute to our combined effort, love that. They have another photo op here. This is awesome, I love this one. And back here we have Marvel Studios. And they have Disney on Broadway here. People are being seated. I don't know if that's some kind of, um, is it a photo op or a panel? I don't know. When you first get here to D23, you do feel quite overwhelmed about what to look at first. There is so much going on. They've got a huge Disney Plus booth over here. So we're just having a wander, just trying to kind of get our bearings so they have the bears that they used to sell in the Germany pavilion in Epcot and they have Winnie look at him oh my gosh I love him how much is he oh it says Disney license it's th between 36 and 39 that's actually not that bad I don't know I really shouldn't I might come back for him he's adorable he's very soft they have a box lunch stand here which is very very popular I think that some of the stands that have got merch are extremely popular on the first day because everybody gets here and wants to go straight to those here I think this is the store where you can get all your d23 merch so this year they've done it as a virtual line which I think people here are returning for their slot I guess so I can try and get in there at some point but I think I will have to join a virtual line to do that so maybe we'll look into that a bit later this isn't our only time at the expo so hopefully we'll be able to get in there at some point and they do have a pin trading area as well so they've got little tables and stuff for you to pin trade in terms of outfits that is incredible they look so good wow and we might actually get a look inside the store as we're going by because I think this is where people are checking out. Oh no, that's literally just people checking out. We can't actually see any of the merch there. Okay, 100% this costume wins. <laughs> wow. And we have more costumes, more people looking absolutely amazing. This is one of the awesome things with D23, our people's outfits. Honestly, we, we have seen so many this morning. This costume is everything, love that. <laughs> So the break is Basically, over, we are now off to the park, we're going back to Disneyland Park today. Oh, oh. <laughs> So we're here again at the Grand Californian because this is the best place for us to get dropped off and then walk through to downtown Disney and then the parks. And it is so beautiful in this hotel. It really is like Wilderness Lodge kind of vibes. I absolutely love this. Okay, we are back at Disneyland Park and I just wanted to show you guys in the daylight these amazing pumpkins up here. These look so good. I absolutely love that. And the train has just pulled in. It's so nice that they actually have their train working here, the railroad. It's been closed in Disney World, as you know, for the longest time. So maybe we'll get a chance to do this at some point. I really miss the one at Disney World for sure. And they do have the same plaque here that they have at Disney World. And we are back in the park again. I'm so excited to be here. We're gonna go for lunch because no one's eaten anything much yet today. We have breakfast, but it's now quite a bit later. I'm not sure where we're going. I'm just following the group. Oh, just on cue. We have got a band playing. Love that. I do have some more caffeine. Gotta keep going because these are long days that we're doing, but I absolutely love it. I'm so happy to be here. We're gonna be doing some more rides today as well. Who knows where the day is gonna take us? I think we're gonna do Star Wars stuff. 
because we haven't done any of that yet, so we're gonna do Rise of the Resistance. As you've probably seen from the footage so far, it's not sunny today, but it's still so hot. It is very, very warm, very humid, but it's quite nice that it's not boiling hot sun, so we're not getting burned or anything. And it looks like this would be a good time of day to get your pumpkin picture, because there's not too many people. If it was nighttime, I would imagine this would be very, very popular. And here's another look at Main Street for you guys. And of course, the castle down at the end. Okay, we are heading into Casey's Corner for lunch. And I don't often go here in Florida, so this will make a change. So when I got to the register, I asked if they had anything that wasn't meat, because it is mainly hot dogs. And they said they have a mac and cheese bread bowl. And this is what I got. It's so big, and they have two bits of bread to make it look like a Mickey head. And it's full of mac and cheese. This looks so good. Oh, it is a Mickey head. I am very excited by this. I know, that's so cool. Just to show you what the hot dogs look like, this is the chili hot dog, and comes with um, potato potato chips and a drink, I think it comes as like a meal. Okay, I've got my fan blowing, just in case you're wondering what my hair is doing. It is quite breezy today as well. We're gonna try this mac and cheese. Let's see. Oh my gosh, that is so good. That is amazing. It's really like cheesy but creamy. Yes, that is good mac and cheese. So we've just finished lunch. That mac and cheese bowl was so, so good. I do have the umbrella up. We are experiencing some fairly extreme weather this afternoon. We've got rain, wind, it's kind of crazy. The park has cleared out a lot. So I think we're gonna go and do some attractions now, but we'll have to see how we get on kind of dodging between things because it's pretty wet and windy. <laughs> As you can see there, it's really not too busy here in the hub kind of area. I'm not sure about the attraction wait times. We'll take a look at that when we get to them. But yeah, it doesn't seem too bad. So we've decided to just go for it and head over to the Star Wars attractions. We're under the brolly. Andrew's, um, I've only, we've got one brolly between like nine of us. She so, made me do it. Yeah, I mean, I, <laughs> I was, I was saying to everyone, where are your umbrellas? What is happening? We're very unprepared. We're, we're very not, unprepared. Considering we're British, we're very unprepared. <laughs> yes. But we're um, heading over. As you can see in front of us is the Mark Twain riverboat. So kind of like the Liberty Bell, you can go around. Very, very nice. I don't know if we'll get to do that, but just an excuse to come back is what I keep saying if we don't get to. You used to be able to meet Tiana on like, the boat like that, I'm sure. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, I think so, when it was all like New, New Orleans things. Oh, okay. That'd be good. We're gonna do Big Thunder Mountain at some point, not right now in the rain though. We're thinking the indoor attraction, so Rise of the Resistance and stuff like that is good in the rain. So as you can see, this looks very, very similar to the one in Disney World. I don't know if it's exactly the same layout, but already it looks kind of the same. We'll see when we get around the corner. I've been reliably informed by Ollie that it is the same. <laughs> so you guys will have obviously seen what everything looks like. I'm sort of trying to vlog, but it is raining. So we're over by Millennium Falcon and the lightning lane, so it's 3.23 at the moment. Um, and the standby wait is 10 minutes. That's so low for Millennium Falcon. So that's amazing. It just goes to show with the rain, it clears people out of the park. And we're straight on to Millennium Falcon. We could not resist that uh, 10 minute wait. So gotta be done. And their animatronic is working here. Last time we were in Disney World, it wasn't working. Pilots to navigate, engineers to operate the ship, and gunners to defend the shipments. And that is where you come in. Okay, we're in, and me and Sophie are pilots, so you've not done it before. No. We're gonna see what happens. I've done it before, I'm, I'm okay, I'm okay, but we'll see. I'm probably terrible, but I'll try. Do you wanna do up and down or left and right? Is the question. Down. Okay, okay, we'll see. You're your engineer? Yes. Andrew is our engineer. I'm just the comedic character, like Jar Jar Binks, that just gives like relief to the stress. Okay, yeah, we, we might be stressed, we'll see what happens. Ah, a brand new flight crew. Good luck to you all. You might need it. Today's flight takes you to the planet Corellia. You will be intercepting a first order train shipment of coaxia. Damage revolt. Everything. 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 Oh. Total. <laughs> Hyperdrive leak. Mm, that is not too good. <laughs> Multiple hull ruptures. Well, it could be worse. So we're back in Galaxy's Edge. Rise of the Resistance is down, so we're just getting a drink. I've got the Star Wars water. Andrew's having a uh, awesome coat. Honestly, for the first I have wanted one of these for like. They're, they're oh, amazing. Yeah. They're amazing. I honestly cannot explain to you guys how sweaty it is not. And it's raining, so we're just taking refuge in here. But as you can see, the hair has not survived. Um, but it's fine. It's all good. It's been, like I say, raining and hot and muggy and everything in one, but it's all good. And like I was saying earlier, it basically is the same Galaxy's Edge here. So the layout is the same. As you can see, this all looks exactly the same. Okay, the ride is back up so we're now going on rise of the resistance and it's some people's first time which is going to be really exciting andrew's a little bit nervous because he doesn't like drops but we're all good you're fine you're fine <laughs> 
advisors. This ship is not under the command of the first order. With that being said, everyone, get out now. Snuff out your meager resistance. You chose the wrong side and now you will pay. So we have several first timers, Andrew being one of them for Rise of the Resistance. What are we saying? 10 out of 10. <laughs> Every time I ride that ride, it was just amazing. A few of the others also had done it for the first time on this trip. And yeah, we love it. It's exactly the same obviously as the one in Florida. You just feel like you are in Star Wars. In a movie. Yeah, if you were a massive Star Wars fan, that would be the best thing in the world. Yeah, yeah, oh. it's so good, amazing. And now I think we're gonna go and ride Big Thunder Mountain. Despite the fact that it's raining, I've never ridden it in the rain before, but first time for everything. We are just pressing on because you kind of have to. It's like I've said in the Orlando vlogs, if it's raining, you just kind of have to get on with it. Especially if you're only here for a few days and you know, that's the day that you're in that park. Don't let it ruin your good time. Just go for it, bring an umbrella and it's all good. So we're just heading on to Pirates. It's only a 10 minute wait. So we thought we'd just jump in line. I loved this with all of the extra scenes than they have in the one in Florida. So excited to ride it again. So I just wanted to show you guys this area. When you come off the Pirates ride, I love this. This looks really awesome. Okay, everybody resisted as long as possible, but we have had to poncho up. By we, I mean everybody else. I have the umbrella, so I'm resisting. I find ponchos just so sweaty, so I can't wear them, but yeah, the rain is pretty real today. Okay, we just rode Big Thunder Mountain in the pouring rain. It was really fun, actually, but it's taken its toll, as you can see. I honestly am just completely soaked. Um, it's been a really, really amazing day here in Disneyland Park, and you can see behind me, we are just exiting to go across to California Adventure. So this is going to be the first time that you guys are seeing California Adventure in these vlogs. First time for me, and we're going to get some dinner. I forget the name of the place. I will let you know when we get there. And hopefully World of Colour will be happening in this rain. I guess it still will be. So yeah, let's get over there and see what it's like. I'm buzzing for this. It's a brand new park for me. Okay, here we go into California Adventure. You've got Oogie Boogie at the top there, which I love. I love their Halloween decorations above the entrance to the park. And like I said before, this is just right opposite the other park, so you can easily just hop from one to the other. Okay, here we go in California Adventure. So I'm getting definite Hollywood Studios vibes here over at this side where I think this is probably maybe like locker rental or some kind of information and you've got ears and stuff for sale. So definitely similar to Hollywood Studios, but also different. And we kind of have music similar to Hollywood Studios as well, which you guys know, I love the music there. I want to say the place we're eating is called Wine Country Trattoria, I believe. Don't quote me, when we get there, I may have that totally wrong, but I think that's where it is. Oh, and this is cute, they have a little tram there. Red car trolley. And over here on the left is Avengers Campus. I cannot wait to get in there. I really want to do the Web Slinger ride. You also have their version of Tower of Terror, which is not called Tower of Terror here. I think it's called Guardians of the Galaxy Mission Escape or something like that. So that's probably completely wrong, but we will get to do that at some stage. Right now, we are heading to a dining reservation, of course. But after seeing the Imagineering panel the other day and all of that, I cannot wait to go and experience Avengers Campus. And I can see Pixar Pier in the distance. This whole area is completely new to me. I've seen it in vlogs, so I really can't wait for this. It's kind of a bummer about the weather today, but we will be back here later in the trip. So we have our table at Wine Country Trattoria, and we have a tomato salad, there's calamari, and also bruschetta, which we're sharing. Our food has started to arrive. I have the fettuccine alfredo with chicken, and Charlie has some kind of pasta with a lot of broccoli. I've got the vegetables again. You, you are, when it comes to vegetables, this is serious business like they it's as if they know you're here yeah, true. <laughs> give him all the vegetables and Andrew has chicken parm. chicken parms on yeah so not many people are going for dessert but I just wanted to show you this is the tiramisu which looks really really good but we're all very good the food is amazing here so definitely we can recommend this restaurant <laughs> so we're all done with dinner I had to just quickly vlog these trees look how beautiful this is this is unbelievable. It's pouring with rain still. Just heading to Soarin, which I'm not sure if it's the California one or the round the world one. We will see when we get there. So we've just come into the queuing area and this is really different to the one in Florida. So this is very cool. They've got lots of different aeroplane pictures and stuff on the wall. 
So we are all done on Soarin'. It was the world version, not the California version. And the only slight difference is at the end, you are obviously over the castle here in California instead of over Epcot. But it was really good, really enjoyed it. And now I think we might be riding Little Mermaid before watching World of Colour, which I'm so excited for. Walt Disney presents... back in the room as you can see got the pajamas on i feel like i am looking very very tired today i managed to get a brush through my hair which was a miracle considering the state it was in after today's rain humidity sweating it was a very hot and rainy day today but we had such a great time despite the rain we managed to get lots done it was so amazing going to the d23 expo this morning this morning we just kind of had a look around just looked at all the different booths that were going on and in a couple of days time Time, we're going to be going to the panel where they'll be announcing everything that's coming up for all of the different Disney resorts throughout the world and I can't wait to find out what's coming I'm super super excited for that so we will be back at the expo later in the trip I'm hoping to maybe pick up some d23 merch as well so we'll see what happens with that you do have to get into a virtual line and it's not always easy to a get into the line and b it depends on the timing as to when you're called back to actually go in so we'll see what happens and whether that pans out but I'm looking forward to that world of color was so great like i managed to capture as much as i possibly could it was raining i had the camera under the umbrella but it was really impressive it was really great obviously it's projections onto water and i do think that the weather and wind and all of that kind of thing can affect how clear it is with the projections and obviously today was a little bit iffy but it was amazing to see that i loved that pocahontas was included that's one of my favorite movies so yeah really really enjoyed that and our dinner was great as well and it's just been such a great trip so far everyone in our group is so nice it's amazing to be on a trip with people who also love disney and people who work for disney as well everyone is just really great i meant to say that i will link everybody's um youtube channels or social media and everything in the description everyone who is on the trip with me i think you'll have seen everyone who's on the trip kind of pop up at some point or another in these vlogs definitely being on this press trip is making me want to come back here for another trip at some point perhaps bring becky or kate along i know that they would love it as well a huge thank you to you guys as always for all of your support with everything I do you guys are the best good morning everyone and welcome to another day here in LA and today is Saturday we're having a little bit of a different morning this morning so we're coming away from the parks and the D23 Expo and heading to Santa Monica we're going to go for brunch just have a little wander around and then we're going to be coming back later to go to downtown Disney for dinner at Naples which I don't know anything about I don't know what the menu is or anything so I'm excited for that and to have a little look around and then this evening we're going to be going to Disneyland Park to 
see Fantasmic. Tomorrow we're back to the expo and they're going to be talking all about the parks around the world. I'm so excited for that tomorrow. I absolutely can't wait. And more time in the parks. I will vlog a little bit of what we're doing this morning and then of course when we get back and go to downtown Disney and the parks and everything I'll be vlogging that because I know you guys are always here for the Disney stuff but going to Santa Monica a lot of people do that when they are visiting this area so yeah I'll show you a little bit of what we're doing there as well. I've got about five minutes until we're meeting downstairs so I better head down. So we have arrived at Santa Monica at this very lovely hotel and the restaurant is called Fig I believe that we're going to. Very excited I'm kind of hungry now. I've had a little break and I'm ready to go again. I didn't really film much in Santa Monica. We were just kind of having a wander. So I did film a little bit for you guys just to see what we were doing. We just sort of wandered around by the beach and on the pier, did a bit of shopping, just came back to the room to freshen up and have a bit of a break. And now I'm heading back out. We're about to go to downtown Disney, have a little browse around there, go for dinner at Naples, which is Italian food. And apparently the pizza there is amazing. So I'm very excited for that. And then back into the park for Fantasmic. And I'm not sure if it's the same as the Fantasmic at Disney World or if it's something different so we're gonna see. I don't think we're doing any attractions this evening like time wise I'm not sure what's happening whether we'll just go literally to watch that or not. We will see what happens who knows but I've got about five minutes I need to be downstairs to meet everyone in the lobby so I better get going. I haven't filmed much down here in the lobby in the last couple of days. You can kind of get a feel for how busy it is. This hotel as I was saying is right next to D23 so it's very very busy. I'm sure this is the chosen place for people to stay for the convention just because it is so close. So we're here at Downtown Disney and it is super busy. Obviously it's D23, so everybody, once they're done at the convention for the day, are probably gonna be coming to the parks or here to Downtown Disney, so it's super busy. We've just been in Sephora. I did not get any of the stuff I wanted. They were out of stock of all of it. So we're just popping in here, which is the dress shop, the Disney dress shop, I should say. So this is all kinds of Disney fashion. Let's see what they've got in here. And they have this design in a dress and a shirt, which has got Space Mountain, it's got the car you've got small world pirates the teacup it's just like a Disney Parks design the shirt is $59.99 and the dress I can't see a price they're normally like 120 oh $128 yeah so that's the dress and they have some Aladdin items here I love this bag the color of that bag is absolutely beautiful and that's $98 and they also have these jasmine ears which I think are new these are $49.99 and these are the bronze ears that are new. These are $29.99. They do have this Haunted Mansion spirit jersey. I've got an older one, which was purple. This one's kind of like tie-dye and has Leota on there. Oh, I think it glows in the dark too. And I'm guessing this is $79.99, I think they are. I don't see a price on it. So to show you some of the other restaurants, they have this place which is called Catal, I think. Restaurant and bar. And they have, um, how do you pronounce that? Ballast Point Brewery and Kitchen. And they also have Black Tap over there, which is burgers. That sounds good. And they also have a Sprinkles here, the same as at Disney Springs. Oh, they have a Disney Home Store. That sounds amazing. Maybe we might need to go in there. And just before I step into this Disney Home Store, they do have a Splitsville over there as well, which is the bowling. This is interesting. I'm guessing this is an ice bucket by the look of it. It says rest in pieces. 
and it's the Silly Symphony cartoon. So that's kind of cool. I'm guessing it's an ice bucket. That's what it looks like anyway. They have a lot of Christmas ornaments in here and I'd really quite like a Disneyland one. That'd be good to get as my 2022 ornament. I try and buy a new one every year. So they do have this key. That's kind of nice. I feel like that'd be a good Disneyland souvenir. That's actually really nice. I think I'm going to get this. And they have lots of home things here like frames and kitchenware little soap dispensers and stuff. And I like that these are not too full on. So if you want Disney stuff, but you don't want anything that's super, super themed, like this little soap dispenser, it's just very subtle little Mickey heads. I love these glasses, they're really pretty. And those are 14 99 And I think this is a tea towel, I wanna say. It's 19 99 However, we have the same problem it's not absorbent. We're just deciding whether this is in fact a tea towel. It's the most I expensive or extravagant tea towel I've ever seen. Like, it feels like a muslin cloth on the yeah, it's, yeah. it's not something you put at the end of the table. In the vlogs we've had the discussion, these kind of tea towels don't dry anything. Yeah. No. And they're pointless, but I do, but they're decorative. But I'm not uh, yeah. even sure that it they is a tea towel. I do like the pattern on it. Does it see what it is? With the tassel as well, doesn't even look like it could be a tea towel. Yeah. I don't know. I'm, I'm just, we're undecided whether that's a tea yeah. towel. And they do have a few of the items here which they sell in the Epcot Pavilion. So they've got the apron and the little thermal cup here. This is the exact same range that you can get there. So we've just sat down here at Naples and we've got an outside table. And I think this is the same company that run Via Napoli in Epcot. I'm fairly certain it is. And looking at the menu, this definitely looks the same. So the pizza has arrived and it does look exactly the same as Via Napoli. There is a sharing pizza going on here. And as you can see, this is exactly what you get there. And it smells the same. I'm assuming it's gonna taste the same. I will let you know. But I have um, a margarita pizza with onions and mushrooms, so I'm excited to get into this. So I'm in some very bad lighting here. We are now in Disneyland Park, and we're just about to go in to watch Fantasmic. Our meal was amazing. It was the same as Via Napoli, almost exactly the same. So I definitely recommend Naples. You know I love Via Napoli and Epcot, and yeah, it was really, really similar. And I think the Halloween fireworks have just finished, so quite a few people are headed for the exit. And Fantasmic is on at 10.30, so the fireworks, I guess, were at 9.45, something like that and then this is at 10.30. And Main Street is looking amazing. It always does during Halloween. I just love the kind of orange colors. You've obviously got your big pumpkin there. But yeah, it looks very, very beautiful, just like Disney World. And you can see the castle over there at night. It's got that kind of pink, similar sort of iridescent look actually to the one in Disney World. But I love here how they have all the fairy lights and stuff in the trees. It looks really beautiful. And there's a better look at the castle from here. And to get to the viewing area that we're going to for Fantasmic, we're going here through Adventureland. And I do love the entrance here with all the torches and stuff. It's very cool. So we're in our little viewing area for Fantasmic. I'm not quite sure what to expect, so we will see. I'll try and film a bit of it for you guys.
everyone so i am back in the room in the pajamas ready for bed and it was amazing seeing phantasmic as you guys saw it really was so impressive the part especially with the pirate ship i knew the part with the boat that goes past at the end but i did not know about the pirate ship so when that came along i was just blown away it was so impressive we all absolutely loved it like i was saying earlier i can highly recommend naples that was really really good the pizza was amazing everybody enjoyed what they had today was a much quieter day it was kind of like a day off really obviously we went to santa monica and then just did fantastic this evening so i haven't filmed an awful lot today but tomorrow is going to be a big day going back to d23 in the morning got a couple of different panels that we're going to including the one with josh tomorrow where we're going to be finding out everything about the parks and resorts so i absolutely can't wait for that that's the thing i've been most looking forward to all week so we're doing that in the morning we're going to go across to california adventure and do avengers campus and the spider-man web slinger attraction i'm really really excited to see all of that i'm hoping we're going to see the stuntronic as well that would be amazing and then in the evening we're going to be back across in Disneyland Park and we're seeing the Halloween fireworks so tomorrow is going to be a long day lots of park time lots going on at D23 thank you guys so much for watching this vlog if you enjoyed it give it a thumbs up that helps other people to find it and don't forget to subscribe and tap the bell icon to always make sure you're notified when I upload a new vlog I've got more California vlogs coming for you and then I will be back at Disney World for the autumn and Halloween season which I'm very very excited for thank you as always for all your support here on YouTube and over on Instagram Patreon, everywhere else. You guys are amazing. I hope you're all having a great day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye! So we just off the ride. That was amazing. It was so good, wasn't it? My arms hurt now. Yeah, it does. It really, really does hurt your arms. And our guide who's with us told us you should do more of like this motion than necessarily like the normal like Spider-Man, you know, motion. So I was doing that.